How's it going guys? It's your boy JoJo's Whips back with another video. And on today's video, I'm going to be going over pretty much like a 30,000 mile review of the car. I've had it now for about 30,000 miles. I've had it for about, let's say, uh, nine months almost. And um, I'm pretty much just going to go over just pretty much everything that, you know, like paint, just pretty much everything that I've dealt with the car and little damages here and there. And, you know, pretty much how the interior is holding up and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, as far as the wheels, I did have to put my stock wheels on because um, I did have a problem. I had a big bolt go into one of my tires in the rear on my um, on my wheels, on my uh, Vossens that you guys typically see and that you also see in the thumbnail. So I'm just kind of waiting to see on when I can get some tires, although those tires are back ordered for a little bit. So I'm going to have to just keep this look on here for now. And I can't find my center caps anywhere. I do not know where they went. Um... I got to look through a couple more boxes since, you know, I did move into my new house. So I got to kind of look around and see. But, um, but yeah, this is the this is the temporary look, you know, with the awful fitment. It's crazy how much a set of wheels can really change the look of, of the car. You know, I, I had this car like this for a couple months when I had first bought it. And then I had the new wheels put on. And I kind of really did forget how it looked with the stock wheels. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't look terrible. But personally, I, I just don't like it. But um, but as far as that goes, um, we'll start off with like the front, you know, as far as, you know, because that's the biggest thing you always hear with Teslas is the paint quality. You know, they do tend to chip pretty easily from what I hear. And then also, too, I've heard from a few detailers that they are kind of a pain to to, to polish and to correct. But um, but at the same time, you know, it could just be the detailers I spoke to. Maybe they're not the best, but that's from what I've heard. But um, as far as paint quality goes, I mean, there are quite a few chips. Um, yeah, as far as here goes, I mean, there's not as many here. There's a few here. This is just dirtiness right here. But you'll see kind of some of them throughout here. You got like some little ones here, here. And as far as back here goes, this whole area gets peppered. I mean, even prior to me having the wheels, that was pretty bad. But also having the wheels, it did add some more. Like, I think these these few right here are new. But, you know, that's the that's the bad thing with having them, you know, flush fit wheels. And you got to deal with that. But, um, but you know, this is a daily driver. You know, I don't, you know, this is just a daily driver. So, I am going to probably in the future maybe get, um... I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure as far. Maybe I, I was thinking of honestly wrapping the car if I do keep it. But um, at least you got some more peppering here. But like I did say, though, that even when I had bought this car, so I bought this car used with 8,000 miles back in, shoot, was it January? Or late, yeah, late January I had got this car with 8,000 miles. And even with 8,000 miles, the car had, you know, peppering all throughout here. But it did get a little bit worse because, you know, I have put myself you know a little over twenty two thousand miles since owning it maybe a little bit more now but um but yeah and then uh i'm actually i actually got to take the car to um actually i'm probably not going to take it anywhere to get it polished i'm probably going to buy a polisher and stuff and probably just figure it out myself because i've been really wanting to get into polishing <clears throat> but um but as far as that goes um and the other thing you hear about these cars too is the tires the wheels and tires that these cars come with in the rear because um so the rear camber arms from factory and the alignment setup the alignment setup from factory they're known to have inner tire wear and pretty much you know you blow a tire from that which i've had actually happen once when i had i've probably had the car about two months just before i got the new wheels for this car um my rear passenger side wheel had um had ripped apart completely and that was actually due to the, the alignment that these cars come with, which is why that company um, Intuitive sells the rear camber arm so you can kind of fix it. So then that way you don't run into that issue. And that is a pretty common issue with these Model S's and also Model X's. I think the Model X's, if I'm not mistaken, is actually worse than this car. But, um, but I would definitely, if you have one of these cars, I would 100% suggest getting the rear camber arms from Intuitive. And you might as well also get the, the lowering links as well. But um, but that's the one biggest issue I had with this car was, or well, not the biggest issue, pretty much the only issue I had with this car was just that, was the passenger side. Besides for that, this car has been flawless. 
Just um, the only thing I've been battling lately because I do live in a new construction area that there's a lot of bolts and stuff in the roads. So I've been getting a lot of bolts and stuff in my tires, which, you know, I, whenever I leave the neighborhood and stuff, I always just try to drive in the center now because, you know, I just try to avoid driving, you know, on the right side or left side because it just is not working for me. I always got to plug tires, order tires. So that's just been like the biggest thing. I was actually going to order a whole new set of tires on the on the wheels, on the Vossen wheels. But honestly, they didn't look bad. The fronts didn't really have any bolts, but the rears had a couple of bolts. They had... um. The bolt that actually left me stranded on the, well, left my wife stranded on the side of the road. It was like a, maybe a five eighths bolt. It was a really big bolt, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, that's the only issue besides for that. This car has been super reliable, um, compared to other cars, you know, you gotta, you know, especially with performance cars, you know, like, you know, pretty much any car that's technically considered a performance car, or high performance you know, you got to deal with, you know, more frequent oil changes, you know, rear tires, unless you're all wheel drive, then you don't really got to worry about the tires too much. But, you know, with rear wheel drive cars, you know, you obviously have some fun, you know, like with the Hellcat, I was having to put, you know, new tires in the rear, maybe every six months. And, you know, sometimes I think there was a couple of times I had to put them on a little bit sooner. And, you know, oil changes, I was always doing them at like the 2000 mile mark. You know, the latest I was run about to was like a 3,000 mile mark. But, you know, with this, you don't have to worry about any of that. But, you know, that's why, in my opinion, Teslas are pretty, you know, pretty, pretty good, you know, daily drivers, especially if you can afford the Model S or even the Model S Plaid like this one. I would 100% suggest it because, you know, then you get some air ride and whatnot. First, you know, with the Model 3 and Model Y, you don't get the air ride. But, you know, the air ride does make a big difference, especially with being able to raise the car if you have to and whatnot. But um, but as far as that goes, we could probably move into the interior now and I could just show you some of the interior things that have kind of started, you know, happening, little things. So we'll go to that now. All right. I got the, the door open. And actually, now that I'm walking in here, I do have a tire light on, even with these wheels. So I'm guessing I probably have... A bolt on the other side because it says the other side is kind of low so i'm gonna have to pull that off later and take a look but um as far as front wise goes the interior held up really well i haven't had any issues in the front the rear on the other hand the um so the door whenever you open it every now and then you'll hear like a let's see if you hear it now you can't really but you can, a little bit but sometimes it's a lot louder than that so you just got like that little bit of noise and then you also got um let me see i might have to get a light oh no you guys can see it so back here i don't know what this is all about it was never like this before but i'm not quite sure if maybe somebody was tugging on the belt hard and might have pulled it down but i never noticed this until you know just recently when i was cleaning the car out i, just, I was like oh man but um literally though besides for that the car's been pretty amazing you know, as far as everything goes, it's just, you know, the only thing to me is I don't like with electric cars is the charging aspect, you know, because to me, you know, time is everything. So, you know, having to sit there, you know, it's it kind of bugs me because, you know, think about it when you're at a gas pump filling your car up and the gas pump's going slow, you know, you know how you feel when, when it's like that. So, you know, having to sit there and charge. But at the same time, though, you know, it goes hand in hand because then you look at how much you're paying. And it's like, well, all right, you know, this is like, you know pre you know 2020 gas prices numbers well probably like pre 2020 gas price numbers at e85 because you know even back then it was probably like 30 bucks for a car with regular but with this you're you know going to save a lot of money especially if you're looking for a performance car that's your daily driver you know it doesn't really get anything better than this you know price point price point that they are now especially and then how much it is to charge up and you know with you know how you could fit five people in here comfortably um with the air suspension and um yeah pretty much you know you can beat pretty much everything on the road up to a certain speed because you know since it is limited unless you get the track package then you know you could you know you could go like 200 then but um but yeah, because I think these cars, I think, are limited to 167. But I know when I put mine in track mode, it says the top speed is 174. Although I heard that it's still limited to 167, so I won't even let you hit 174. Although I could be wrong. If you guys know about that, just let me know in the comments. But um, but besides for that, I mean, I'm trying to think if there was anything else with the car. 
Oh, yeah. And then another thing that I have noticed, actually, now that I'm remembering, is like these are kind of loose. No, it's not this one. It might be this one. Um, okay, so it's actually not that bad. When I was washing the car, though, I kind of had skipped across it a little bit, and it was kind of wobbly. And then I remember, actually, when I had first got the car, I think it was on this side when I was washing it. You know, I'm used to just washing, you know, cars that don't have a camera on the side of it and stuff. So, you know, I was kind of just scrubbing it. And I actually did pop this out, but it's really simple to pop back in. It just clips back in. But, um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video... Please like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, this is pretty much just like an update on, you know, the car hitting 30,000 miles and any issues I've had. And like I said, I haven't had any issues affecting me on a day-to-day -day driving except for just the rear tire thing, which, you know, Intuitive sell, sells the rear camber arms and the lowering links to fix that. They sell it as a kit. And I think you might be able to actually just buy the rear camber arms to help you get that alignment better so you don't get that inner tire wear to then where you could shred the tire. Tire wear. But um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, this is JoJo's Whips, and I'm out.